Compact utility vehicles are becoming the latest rage and behind me is Lexus's NX300 in F-Sport trim. So it's got it all going for it. All wheel drive, it's the sport version. Will I be impressed? Let's find out. Well, with the F-Sport trim level, it looks very aggressive. They call it a bow tie grill up front. I think it kind of looks like a bird of prey about to pounce. It's definitely aggressive, but also modern, and I think desirable too at the same time. It's not a case of form following function like most compact utility vehicles and other cars these days. I think it's a love it or hate it shape, but definitely not a shape to be ignored. Aggressive and luxurious at the same time, Lexus definitely wants your attention with this F-Sport version. They're not trying to blend in with the competition in terms of the interior either. Even the pedals are sporty in the F-Sport version. Supportive seats with big side bolstering. Nice stitching here going down the seats. And of course it's power controlled and you get lumbar support as well. The sporty look carries over to the dash. It's carbon fiber looking, but not carbon fiber. And on the steering wheel, you have an F-Sport emblem here, along with, of course, the Lexus badge. Note the paddle shifters, which tell you about the sporting nature of this NX. Large tachometer, speedometer, and in the middle, an information screen that you control right here. You get three driving modes, more on that later, but you can shift it yourself here, as well as the paddle shifters, of course. It's a six-speed automatic transmission. Inside the armrest, you get some deep storage, a tray as well, and then a charger with two USBs and also an aux input. Moving forward, there's some hidden storage right here. Here's your palm rest for the infotainment screen control, more on that in a second, and then two cup holders. You get a volume and tuning knob with CD input. That's a nice feature. You get dual zone climate control with heated and ventilated seats for both sides and a tasteful analog clock as well. You control the infotainment screen much like a computer with this touchpad and there are also buttons you can press to get where you're going. You can scroll around like a computer, press the menu button and that takes you down to the master list down here go into your apps per se and there's also a back button down there as well so it is intuitive once you learn it but a little tricky to get used to I'd say therefore my drive and Ivan technology score I'll give it an 8 out of 10 it is a very large screen which is good but I do prefer personally the touchscreen systems you get all the safety goodies like adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist but what do we have here? ASC. Well, that's actually sound control. You can basically pipe in more engine sound with a hidden speaker behind the dash if you want it to sound more sporty. Just to the side of the steering wheel, you have controls for your high beams, your rear hatch, also your heated steering wheel, and blind spot monitoring as well. On the door, you have controls for your outside mirrors, also your door locks and power windows as well. Some storage here, and you have a few memory settings for the seats and some storage below with cup holders as well. All in all it's a comfortable and tech savvy interior with a bit more sportiness thrown in for this F-Sport version. Out back you get your own vents and seating for up to three across. You also get an armrest with two pop-out cup holders and you have an ability to fold down the seats as well for more storage automatically pop open the hatch and it's actually very large for a compact utility vehicle back here with the seats up no problems you've got storage underneath as well and here on the side too they even give you a first aid kit here are my disc golf discs check out my disc golf videos elsewhere and play it with your whole family it's a great sport of course, folding the seats down gives you a lot more room. Powering the Lexus NX300 F Sport is a two liter four cylinder turbo. It makes 235 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. That's good for a zero to 60 time of 6.9 seconds, 22 miles per gallon in the city with 27 on the highway and 24 expected overall with the six speed automatic and all wheel drive.
Pricing for the Lexus NX300 F Sport starts out at almost $40,000. You have the F Sport package, which gives the appearance and many other touches on this F Sport edition, and also navigation, intelligent park assist, LED headlamps, and you're out the dealer door just over $48,000 but you are getting a lot of compact sport utility vehicle in this case. The CUV class is a very desirable segment in America and this Lexus does not disappoint at all. You get heated and cooled seats and pretty much every safety and luxury item you can think of, including adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. So it's extremely well equipped and what Lexus offers that I think many of the other manufacturers don't offer is the fact that it's not really ostentatious. Sure, it's a very nice compact utility vehicle in this case, but it's not over the top. Some might consider the German imports a bit gauche and boastful, but Lexus is sort of the politically conscious person's vehicle, in this case, compact utility vehicle. But I think with this NX300 F Sport, it kind of stands out in its looks. It's not as sedate as many Lexus cars have been in the past, and certainly some of the sedans. This one really has a look at me attitude, and especially in the F Sport trim, it perhaps makes people want it for its very aggressive looks. And certainly that's a large reason that people buy cars in the first place is just the look of it. So what's it like on the back roads? You get three driving modes. I keep it in eco most of the time, but switch it into sport and your screens get red and you can gear down here or you can shift it over here, which I prefer. And then you've got well over 200 horsepower all-wheel drive to keep the wheels sticking and uh, that's very helpful this morning because check out the roads slightly wet but the all-wheel drive keeps you planted and uh, this really compact utility vehicle takes on a totally different personality and these turns beckon you. Good brakes, set up, and then just punch it. Accelerate towards the next turn. And, uh, well, it's a lot more fun than it should be because, of course, this is the F Sport version, and a Kia Toyota is serious about building sporting automobiles lately and compact utility vehicles in this case. I've tested the Scion FRS which is now the Toyota 86 on the track. Also the RC and the uh, F Sport version of that too. In fact I have a split lap time of the V6 versus the V8 at Monticello out in New York. Check out that video elsewhere on YouTube. And any video you'd like to see on YouTube just Google Drive and Ivan in the car you'd like to see. But this F Sport brand of Toyota is like BMW's M or AMG at Mercedes. Definitely Toyota means business and they want to make sporty versions of their cars so that people can enjoy them just like I did there. You get blind spot alert, you get lane keep assist, and adaptive cruise control. Uh, that keeps you a safe distance from the car in front of you. You set the distance with this button right here, and it'll keep you a safe distance from the car in front of you. And it'll also steer you back in your lane when you have the lane keep assist on. So, pretty much autopilot, and uh, that, of course, great safety features, but also, more importantly to me, I think it's a set of luxury features too. The backup camera is helpful, but the directional indicators don't move when you turn the steering wheel. Checking out the night look here. And uh, yeah, top notch. Good job, Lexus. A very nice, luxurious night look all around.
So after spending the week with this Lexus NX300 F Sport Edition, I'm definitely impressed with it. I think it definitely makes a statement. It's got bold looks and it has really everything you need in a vehicle. It's quick, it's all wheel drive, it's got plenty of safety, lots of luxury, and still manages to stand out in many aspects, most notably with its bold looks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Google Drive and Ivan, and any car you'd like to see. Check out my other compact utility reviews out there, and also my disc golf videos, my documentaries, literal video for Chris Isaac's Wicked Game. I'm driving Ivan.